Hi Angels, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. My name is Amy and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I did a poll on Instagram literally like five minutes ago because I have just sat here looking at like my palettes and I had no clue what to film. So it was either going to be a like smoky pink eye, just like really matte with maybe, I don't know what it was going to be, but it was going to be pink or um, neutral with a pop of colour which I recently saw Holly Boone do and it just looks so cute um, it was similar to something that I used to wear all the time so I feel like I'm gonna that was like the other option and everyone said the neutral with a pop of colour so that's what we're gonna do also excuse my hair I actually look like a poodle for some reason I decided to curl with straighteners and not my wand and I'm left with like I don't even know. I'm hoping I'm going to take my dog for a walk and I'm hoping it's going to like just drop out and then maybe I can go over it with the wand and it will do like the nice curls. But you know when it's one, one of them ones where like when you curl your hair like that's commitment until you wash it again because no one's going to straight on over curls because that would ruin your hair. So what have I done basically? But anyway, so yeah, we're going to do a smoky eye with a pop of colour. Um, for the smoky eye, I'm going to be using my... Laroc Beginners Collection Beginners Collection 35 Eyeshadow Tones. This is in 05. It's really really nice. This is from Fragrance Direct. They do loads and loads of like discounted items. Um yeah, so I got this and the pigments are so good. I swear this was like a tenner. The pigments are unreal. Um so I'm going to just be using this shade and this shade and then I'm going to go for like a pop of blue or green or something like that but I'll probably pick that from my Stace Marie palette because you know it's got like all those like amazing colours. So I've already done my eyebrows, I use the Maybelline Precise Precise Micro Pencil, it looks like this. Um, Unreal, that's definitely like a dupe for the Urban Decay Brow Beater, I've not stopped using that since I did my like drugstore makeup look. So I'm just going to prime my eye with my Tarte Shape Tape as always. I feel like I'm not going to have many um, makeup videos up this month, which is really annoying because I just miss filming them so much. But my skin is like quite dry at the moment because basically, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've started doing pumpkin peels. So you like, uh, after the pumpkin peel, you like get, your skin gets quite dry and like flakes off. So like I haven't been able to film because my skin's been so textured, but it is like, it doesn't look it right now, but trust me, it's so much better. Like, the congestion, like, underneath the skin is honestly it's so much better. I can't wait for my next one. But, yeah, so, obviously, when my skin's all dry, I can't film... I can't film makeup looks because they'll just be all crusty and disgusting. So, just bear with me while I get my skin peng. Um, yeah, that's what's going on with me. I feel like I actually haven't sat down and filmed in ages. So, I don't know when this... Um, video will be going up but currently I'm let me just check okay I'm currently 96 subscribers away from 10,000 sorry like what this is just amazing I'm editing this back and I'm currently sitting at 11,108 subscribers like, that is absolutely fucking crazy. I love all of you so, 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 so much. Honestly, thank you so much. 10,000. Me. Oh, my God. Like, literally, I can't even begin to explain, like, what the actual... Like, it's not... I've not even been doing YouTube a year, okay? I've not even been doing it a year, and I've nearly got 10,000. What the hell? So, I'm just really pushing that into the skin with my beauty blender. I feel like this is going to be more chit chat because, I don't know, I feel like I'm in a talkative mood. It's sunny. It's sunny. I'm sorry. It's sunny. I've got my window open. I'm in a t-shirt. Like, spring? Is that you? Okay, so at this point in time, I've tried to film the look three times and literally nothing is going my way. So I keep taking it off and then I've redone it three times. And then I've clearly, this is the third time that I'm doing it and I've forgotten to even introduce what I'm doing. So I've literally just taken my lighter shade and applied this all over the crease. Okay, so once we've done that colour, I'm going to go in with the 
darker shade so i'm not gonna go in the darkest i'm just gonna go like one times darker and then we can deepen it up if we feel like we need to um so i'm just gonna start by running this through the crease and like slightly blending as i go but not too much as i want to like focus on placement so just like really really small little movements so once you've added the dark shade on, I've just tried to like blend that out as much as I could before going back in with that first shade and just going over those edges just because this will make it easier to blend now. Okay, so once we are looking like this, I'm basically, I don't think I want to go any darker than this. I feel like it's a little bit darker than I actually wanted. So I'm just going to take that same shade and just bounce this all over the lid. As usually I would then add like a darker shade onto like all over the lid but I feel like this is as dark as I want okay so I'm gonna go ahead do the other eye apply my lashes which I'm gonna be wearing TL19 from Tatty Lashes they're like naturally but really wispy and nice and I'll be back to do the under eye and my skin okay so we're back I'm ready to film the face. So these eyelashes are the Tatty Lashes in the style TL19. Love these. Get me makeup bag. Honestly, I swear I have so much stuff. So we're going to start with my primer. And we're going for YSL All Hours. This is so good for oily skin, I'm telling you. If you've got oily skin and you've not tried this, try it. And like I said, because I've been having those peels, I'm going to put like loads of um, loads of moisturising products onto my skin. So I'm then going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury U uh, Wonder Glow. I absolutely love this so much. It's not as good as my Becca um, Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector though, that's what I will say. It's not as glowy like it's glowy but it's like a very subtle glow um yeah i wouldn't say it's as glowy at all but it's nice and it smells nice it smells like rose i think that's the scent that i'm getting like turkish delight kind of rose i like that smell for like um face products you know like mary Badescu's rose water spray love that so I'm now going to add a tiny weeny bit of moisturiser, this is just the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and I probably should have put this on first but I, I can just feel that this is just a little bit dry. So I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. This is like, I don't actually even know if I really have any in this but I'm just going to scrape as much as possible. I can see it, it's like right at the bottom but this thing is not long enough to get it. There you go. I just love Studio Fix. I think the finish of this is just honestly my fave. So I am actually like doing a whole like vloggy experience on um, my like pumpkin peels and how I'm finding it and all sorts. So that'll be up maybe the start of April, end of March, like whenever I have done them. So I think they say to have three for like, like to get the results and then um, like have them like once a month or once every couple of weeks to just like keep the skin looking good. So I'm kind of into like a bright under eye at the moment and um, also because it will just lighten up this foundation. So I'm just using my Tarte Shape Tape. This is honestly my ride or die. This is in the shade Light Sand, I believe. But yeah, I can't believe the weather. Honestly, it's so nice out there. Gonna take the dog for a walk and then film a drive with me. I've not eaten, so I'm absolutely starving. So I might do the like classic McDonald's run. Um, kinda wanna be healthy, but kinda. Healthy is like so long sometimes. Being healthy is so much effort. Honestly, what I need is someone to cook me healthy meals, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then like snacks, and then that's what I eat. 
for the day and I haven't got to think about it, I haven't got to prep anything, I haven't got to go out and buy anything. It's all there, it's all done. If anyone knows any like places that do that, let me know. Not that I can probably like afford it, but you know, I would definitely have a look. But everything was so expensive these days. Everything is so expensive. And one thing that actually does annoy me that I'm just gonna say, like I feel like this is like kind of off topic or whatever. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more. Um, is that why do people, because you do YouTube, not everyone, just like the occasional person, why do people assume you have money because you do YouTube? Like that's, I just, I don't get it. That's the most ridiculous thing ever. Like I get like big YouTubers. Yeah, okay, they've probably got money. Do you know what I mean? I just, I don't put the two and two together. I don't understand. Okay, to set that, I'm gonna be using my Huda Beauty powder. I like shook this too much through. If anyone's got the Huda Beauty powder, you'll know it has that like, I can't describe it, but it's like hot, like netting, isn't it? Um, that you like shake the product through. And I shook too much through, and now literally there is just like, every time I open it, it's just like so much mess everywhere. Right, I'm gonna just dust this off with my Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know why I like to pick up this as I dust it. I think because this has got like a nice colour to it. It just right so we'll do the under eye now let's bring out the big guns i think i want to go with blue where's my blue eyeliner okay so i'm going to add some blue to my waterline ouch oh okay so once we've got the blue liner i'm gonna go in i don't know i think what i'm gonna do is take this shade sky right close to my like waterline and then I'm gonna take this shade mint and I blend it out further so it's like a turquoisey. Oh my God, that's all just gone in my eyes. There's something really sharp in that brush, ow. Right, I'm gonna apply my mascara and I'll be back. Do you know when like everything you do is like a bloody shambles? Okay, so I'm gonna apply some brow mascara so you know when absolutely everything you do is just like complete shambles i feel like that's what this video is like a complete disaster i feel like it's just been all over the place but i feel like i'm still gonna put it out there because i just think that you might see people who do like makeup and think oh my god their makeup's really good i wish i could do that and then you try and do it and you can't do it and it's like I can't do it half the time either, trust me. Like, practice makes perfect, guys. And I'm just a pure example of that. <laughs> Literally, right. I'm gonna bronze up my face with my Urban Decay bronzer. And this is just on a really nice, big, fluffy brush. And this is another favourite from my, like, drugstore, um video that I did and um, the L'Oreal back to bronze I'm obsessed with this I literally use it every day like it's one of my new faves honestly so it's really pigmented and it's a really really nice color so I'm just gonna take that you have to excuse this eye it won't stop watering and I know that when I take my dog for a walk it's gonna literally pour does anybody else have eyes like that like as soon as you go outside they just stream Okay, so we're going to go in with some highlighter. Where is my highlighter brush? And I'm going to be using my um, Reezy and Anastasia Beverly Hills. Don't want too much of a glow. Sometimes it's just nice to not have it, like, too intense, you know? This look, I used to always, always create this look. But what I would do is just do, like, the blue liner in my waterline. And I wouldn't do blue like under my eye as well and I'd do like smoky under my eye and if you don't want to go like this bold with the colour then smoky under the eye but a coloured liner honestly looks so so nice with this look um, and another favourite from that I have non-stop used from my like drugstore video is this pink cloud blusher by 
um, natural collection. I think this was like two pounds, and I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with having that cute like pink rosiness to my cheeks. I honestly think it looks so nice. So then for lip liner, I'm gonna go in with. I'm gonna go in with my Boldly Bare Mac lip liner. Top tip: if your eye waters, turn your head to the side and catch it with a combat. That is hay fever a thing at this time of year. So I'm just blending that in using my finger, and then I'm gonna go in with my HNB Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade yes girl i can't believe we actually made it to the end of this video okay guys so that's the end of the video i don't know what this was was it like a chit chat get ready with me was it a tutorial my hair i'm sorry it i'm sorry <gasps> let's put it there <laughs> um yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know what it was. Was it chit chat? Was it a get ready with me? Was it a tutorial? I don't know. I feel like it didn't go great. Um, there was a lot of mistakes and I got foundation in my hair and my hair looks like a frizzy matted mess honestly I need to sort it out um but yeah anyway enough of that tangent um yeah so if you did enjoy this video then please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a upload from me and I will see you in my next video thank you so 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 much for all your support let's check the subscribers because I know we checked at the beginning of the video and let's just see where we're at Okay, I've got 83 to go, 83, so maybe, hopefully by the time this video has gone up, I've got 10,000, which is absolutely insane, that blows my mind, I don't want to speak too soon, like in case it doesn't happen, but honestly, just thank you guys anyway for all your support, honestly, I never ever thought that when I started my channel that I would ever be here, if you know what I mean, like, I mean, nothing's really changed apart, like, like, I still go to work, I still do everything I normally would do. But I just mean in terms of, like, 10,000 people supporting me. Like, that's ridiculous. That That's absolutely ridiculous. Thank you so much. Um, honestly, just... I, I, I Every time I go to say, like, thank you, I just, like, I can't find my words. Like, I honestly don't know how to... It, I feel like I need to, like, write a letter and read it out. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can... I just... <laughs> ah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys.